For centuries, voice specialists have known that abdominal pressure contributes significantly to breath management, or what is often referred to as support. However, until now, we've not been able to see that support and to know which muscles contract and release when. And as you run out of air, that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because it's going to come in as a turbo. Wow. With ultrasound imaging, we can observe the specific movements of individual abdominal muscles. For example, we can see that transversus abdominis tends to take the lead in any activity. This is particularly significant since transversus is the only abdominal muscle that forms a direct connection with the diaphragm and is therefore capable of controlling the diaphragm elevation. At the same time, the abdominal muscles work together and at high vocal intensity levels, transversus and internal oblique often work as a magnificent team. Wow. In the following clips, Christopher Simpson, London-based actor and movement specialist, sings a song of his own devising in several different physical positions. As yet, we do not have the equipment to monitor abdominal activity during extended physical movement. Now Chris explores a range of vocal sounds. <laughs> strength, ease and flexibility are the posterior muscles of the trunk, especially iliopsoas and quadratus limborum. In positions like the Pilates V or Suzuki statues, 
These muscles provide much of the strength and stability required to affect the position, thus lessening to some extent the demand on transversus and obliques.